Hi guys, it's Shane. This video is full of armchair exercises that you can do at home right now with no equipment. It's perfect for when you just want to start out or haven't exercised in a long while and you want to prepare for the exercises later in this program. We're going to start off nice and easy and build up slowly, but all these exercises are great for you for getting your muscles moving. Exercising is so important because it helps gain muscle mass and it will help raise your metabolism, meaning that you can burn off more calories and therefore fat quicker. Also, increasing your muscle mass will make day-to-day -day life much easier. Exercising has many other benefits as well. It improves your heart health and circulation and releases feel-good hormones called endorphins, which will help reduce stress levels. Exercising also helps get your digestion system going. Doing this video means you're going to take a huge step towards a healthier and fitter future. It will help you go a long way towards achieving the healthier weight that you deserve. With all these exercises, let's not have a number in mind, let's just see what we can do. Keep up if you can or stop if you feel you need to rest. Just try and do as many as you can. We're going to start with one of the biggest muscles in the body, the quads. This may seem simple, but it's the best way to start. By working the larger muscle groups, we can burn more calories. And not only that, our legs are really important for everyday health. All right, guys, so we're going to work our leg muscles here. We're going to actually work a hip flexor, which is going to help us strengthen up our hip so we can bring it up and actually eventually extend the leg, which will be working the quad and it's the largest muscle group in our body. So we'll be able to, you know, really burn a large amount of calories. But until then, we're just going to do this exercise a little bit easier and it's just to lift the leg. OK, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Then I'm going to tell you what I've done. OK, so. I'm going to change legs now. Now what I'm doing here is I'm keeping good posture by keeping a high chest, shoulders back. I can even hold onto the chair if I feel like. I have a backrest here to just lie on so I can keep a good posture. And I'm going to lift my leg. Now I'm just going to lift it off the floor, not too high. I'm going to bring it all the way up. I'm just going to lift it up to where I feel comfortable. And I'm going to breathe out as I lift it up. So I'm going to breathe in now and breathe out. Now when I've done as many reps as I can, don't worry about the numbers. You're just going to do as many as you actually can. So if you get three, that's great. If you get four, fantastic. Once I've done that, I'm then going to move to my next leg. So I'm going to breathe in. This is quite tough, so don't worry if you've woken up a little bit of sweat, that's a good thing. So get on it and see how it feels. Right, so let's move on to our upper body. Now we're going to target the chest muscles by doing a chest press. This is also great exercise to work our shoulders and triceps. Okay guys, I'm going to show you a great exercise for our chest muscles. We're really going to isolate this muscle here. And how I'm going to do it is I'm going to take my arms to the outside and I'm just going to bring them in and squeeze in the middle. So let me just show how I do this and then I'm going to explain the whole routine to you. Okay, so what I'm actually doing here is I'm making sure I've got a nice stable base with my legs. So the feet are just outside here with the part. I sit nice and tight back into my chair, big chest, shoulders back. Now when I bring my hands up here, you can have them any way you want. You might have seen that I was coming in with my hands open, sometimes when they're close, it's completely up to you. But when I get to the middle here is I really squeeze my chest together, really squeeze my hands together, and that's gonna help me to squeeze my chest. It's an isometric hold, so we're gonna hold it for three, two, one. So from here, Three, two, one, and relax back out. Now, my breathing is gonna be, my hands here, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Okay, so get on the exercise and see how it goes. Right, so now we've worked out our chest, it's really important that we strengthen our back, as this will really improve our posture. Whenever we do a pushing motion, we should do an equal amount of pulling motion to ensure good posture and a balanced physique. Okay guys, so we're gonna work our upper back muscles here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my arms out right in front of me, big chest, shoulders back, and I'm just gonna take a deep breath in and I'm gonna breathe out. Now I'm trying to bring my shoulder blades 
back as if I'm trying to squeeze a tennis ball. So as I have my hands out in front of me, I'm going to bring them all the way back to where I feel comfortable and then back out again. So I'm going to breathe in and out. In and out. Now what I want you to try not to do is, it's very, very tempting, but is to bring your hands out to the sides. So this is how it shouldn't look, is like this, okay? Now it's very easy to do this, but I really want you to concentrate on having them straight forward, breathing in and out. So we're gonna get the upper body, okay? The upper back here, really working well. And you can feel a little bit of burn around here, that's absolutely normal. And you're just gonna do as many as you can don't worry if you can't do many as it will get easier over time. So try this exercise out and see how you feel. So we worked out our larger muscle groups which is fantastic, particularly for burning calories. But we don't want to leave anything out so now we're going to move on to our smaller muscle groups. So we're going to move on to some isolation exercises for our shoulders. These shoulder raises are going to further strengthen our shoulders, build up muscle and endurance, all of which will stop you getting tired when doing basic activities. All right guys, so let's work out our shoulders. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna bring my elbows straight up and back down again. Up and back down. Now I'm gonna concentrate my breathing here, so I'm gonna breathe in and out. In and out. Now I'm gonna maintain very good posture, so I'm gonna have my chest up and shoulders back. And in and out. Now you're gonna feel a little bit of a burn in your shoulder, but that's absolutely fine, that's what we're looking for. And you're gonna try and do as many as you can. If you can do three or four, that's great. If you can do more, then that's fantastic. But just keep on going with it. You will get better as time goes. So go on this exercise and see how it feels. Right, so let's move on to our calves, which are on the back of our legs. Working these muscles will really help functionality in everyday life. For example, when you need to reach the top of the shelf. Okay guys, so let's work out our calf muscles, which are these muscles right here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is big chest, shoulders back, always good posture. Take a deep breath in and raise my heels straight up just to where I feel comfortable and then release them back onto the floor. Come straight back up again and back down onto the floor. So I'm going to breathe in and then out. In and then out. Okay, now what I'm going to do with my hands is I can place them on my lap or I can have them by my sides. So let's just do this all over again. Breathe in and out, in, and out. Now you're gonna feel real burning sensation in these calves here, but that's absolutely fine, that's what we're looking for. So try this exercise out and see how it goes. All right guys, now I know that was a really hard workout, but we got through it in the end. Now I promise you, if you keep on coming back to these workouts, you will increase your fitness. It's all about just commitment and motivation. So keep yourself motivated, keep yourself committed to this, and you will get better. Now in terms of reps and sets, I just want you to do as many as you can possible. Take a little note down, so if you've done five, next time we go back to this, we're gonna do six. If you keep on doing like this, you will reach your goals and you will get fitter. All right, till next time, I'll see you soon.